You are welcome to Winning Secret TV. Trust God to turn things around for you. We serve an ever faithful God, God of all possibility, who turns things around for the good of his children. In Romans chapter 8 verse 28 the Bible says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. When the Bible says all things it means all things, no exception whatsoever. Whether that thing is positive or negative, God's assurance for his children is that the end result must be for their good, and the good of those who love and trust him to turn things around for them. There is no situation that is irreparable or irredeemable with him, unless it is not God. But if it is God, there is no impossibility with him. All things are possible with God. No matter how irredeemable or irrecoverable the situation may pose or present itself, God can turn it around. But we must learn to trust him, to see him turn things around for us. All we need for God to turn things around for us is trust, trust, and trust. And to keep trusting in him and him alone. For God does not share his glory with anyone. In Exodus chapter 34 verse 14, he describes himself as jealous, in fact, he says, that his name is jealous and that he is a jealous God, and doesn't share his glory with anyone or anything. God demands absolute faith and trust in him, to turn things and situations around for his trustees. This was sufficiently indicated in Psalms chapter 37 verse 5 where the Bible says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. What the Bible is saying there is that, with an intact trust in God, we can turn every situation around and in our favor. We saw it happen in the case of Lazarus. In John chapter 11, Mary said unto Jesus, Lord, if you were here our brother wouldn't have died. And Jesus said unto her, If you can believe, trust me, your brother will live. Jesus was simply telling her that if she can trust or repose her faith in him, that, her brother, although dead can still live. And as she agreed and trusted on the Lord to do it, the Lord brought her brother Lazarus back to life after he had been dead for four days. The full account is in John chapter 11 verse 32 50. Now, if God can, raise Lazarus from death after four days according to John 11. And also, divide the Red Sea and River Jordan for the children of Israel to pass on dry ground. According to Exodus chapter 14 and verses 16 reads, But lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. If God can make Sarah bear a son at the age of 90, when she was past the age of bearing a child, according to Genesis chapter 21 and verses 1 to 2 say, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived, and bare Abraham a son in his old age, at the set time of which God had spoken to him. If Jesus can against the known laws of a nature walk on the water. According to Matthew chapter 14, verses, 26 to 27 say, And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. If God can feed above five thousand able-bodied men to their satisfaction with five loaves of bread and two fishes, according to Matthew chapter 14 verses 19 to 20 say, And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass, and took the five loaves, and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed, and brake and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat, and were filled, and they took up of the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. If God can collapse the wall of Jericho with just people walking around it, and eventually shouting and blowing the trumpet, as we saw in Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 to 20. So the people shouted when the priests blew with the trumpets, and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet, and the people shouted with a great shout, that the wall fell down flat, so that the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. 
if he can make a slave boy Joseph, prime minister in a foreign land Egypt. According to Genesis chapter 41 verse 39 to 40. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God hath showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art, thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled, only in the throne will I be greater than thou. If he can turn around the sorrows of the barrenness of Hannah to joy, and of becoming the mother of Israel's foremost judge, Samuel. According to 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 1 to 20. Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son, and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked him of the Lord. What about Zacharias and his wife Elizabeth who became the proud parents? Of the forerunner of Jesus Christ, John the Baptist, from the altar of childlessness, as we saw in Luke chapter 1 verse 5 to 57. Now Elizabeth's full time came that she should be delivered, and she brought forth a son. The lists and references are endless and inexhaustible. So clean your tears, your case is so small for him. If you can place your trust in him, he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. What he says to one he said to another. God can turn every sorrow into joy and he has promised to do it for all who trust in him. Job said in Job chapter 14 verse 14. If someone dies, will they live again? All the days of my hard service I will wait for my renewal to come. In John chapter 16 verse 20 the Bible says, But your sorrow shall be turned into joy. This is a trustworthy saying that can be trusted. So stop sorrowing and start trusting and see your presumable calamity turn to joy. He has done it before and can still do it again. Let us pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you for your love, kindness, and mercy. It is for your grace that we are not consumed. Forgive us for all the times we have fretted instead of trusting in you. Turn every intimidating and fearful situation in our lives for our good according to your faithful promises to do so to us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now I pray for you. Father in the name of Jesus. I pray that that man, that woman, that boy, that girl watching this video. Let every contrary and undesirable situation in their life. Health, business, career and education come to an abrupt end now. Let every shame, reproaches in their lives turn to joy. Let favor that will bring an end to all their predicaments locate them now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We want to give you another interesting video to watch next. Also, our team would appreciate it if you could like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Winning Secret TV, to not miss out on other exciting videos that we post practically every week. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. Also, you may leave your comment or prayer requests in the comment box and we shall respond to you accordingly. God bless you.